Hello, welcome to Lady Scorpius Tarot. I'm your host, Lady Scorpius. Today, we're going to be reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2021. This will be a three-card general reading, so take the message that resonate, leave rest behind. And as always, you guys can check out my website, LadyScorpiusTarot.com, if you'd like to see what's going on with you in your personal life. Sorry, I'm trying to fix my hair. But anyway, this will be a three-card general reading for my lucky Libras, and honestly... You guys, I have a special surprise for you guys. You are very lucky because you are the first to see my exclusive Oracle deck that I created. It's called the Flower Child Oracle. So from now on, I'm going to just be using my Oracle deck as the main deck to use. And I'll clarify with Tarot. And if I ever, you know, want to do some other Oracles, then we'll do that. But for, I want you guys to get familiar with my cards. And if you guys would like to purchase this deck, you can do so on my website, LadyScorpiusTarot.com. It's available for pre-order. Um, free shipping is $50 and this is a, a hundred card Oracle deck, you guys. So this is a lot of messages in here. Okay. So let's get straight into it, Libra. I'm sorry if you guys hear my crazy cat in the background, but let's get into it and see what's going on for my Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September, 2021. Universal Spirit, Angels, Ascending Gods, and Masters, please get messages from my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September, 2021. I actually get messages. I love light and clarity for my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September, what should they know? What do you have uh, coming towards them? What do my Libras, uh, what should they work on? Ooh, these glossy too, y'all. Give me messages for, ooh, slippery. Give me messages for my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2021. Three cards only. And you guys, these feel so good. They're butter, buttery, okay? Ooh, give me another card. Give me one more card for my Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2021. One more card, Spirit. One more card for my Libra. Okay, this popped over, so let's take it. All right, Libra. These cards are beautiful. The overall energy is travel. Okay, so some of you guys could have travel on your mind. Maybe somebody wants to travel towards you. Maybe some of you guys are needing a break or vacation mentally. Um, I do feel like with the travel card, this, this is very vague. So it can mean that you guys are even thinking about travel. You could be traveling or someone can be traveling towards you or would like to travel towards you, okay? The first card we have is stalemate relationship. Mm. The second card is a messenger card. So in my deck, we have maybe like two to three messenger cards that pop out. So this is like something special that somebody wants to tell you. So, or this is, might be how you feel about your partner or the person you're involved with. This is, it says, I have deep feelings for you, but it's hard for me to express. So Libra, you could be dealing with somebody that have a lot of deep feelings for you, but it's hard for them to express. Um, or this could be you, vice versa. And the last card, we have a spirituality. So like I said, these cards are very, they're going to be your best friend. Okay, Libra, like check out my cards. They're going to be your best friend. And it's like a little bit of everything in this deck. That's why I did 100 cards so I can put a little bit of everything in it. But based on what I'm seeing, like I'm seeing Libra, you guys are definitely in a stalemate situation or stalemate relationship. You could be waiting for somebody to return back to you. You could be waiting to see how the dynamic will play out between you and this partner that you're interested in or this person that you're interested in, Libra, male or female. I feel like either you have deep feelings for that person, but it's hard for you to express or you don't want to express them because they could have had you in a situation that felt like it was a stalemate and it didn't pan out like you wanted to pan out, Libra. But I feel like for the most part, either this is how you feel or the person that you're dealing with, they truly do really care about you. They have deep feelings for you, Libra, but it could be hard for them to express themselves because they have some spiritual work to do. We have spirituality. So maybe some of my Libras, you guys are tapping into your spirituality this month. Maybe that's the main focus for you or the person that you're dealing with. It's really, really need to, you know, tap into their spirituality and see what's going on, you know? So let's go ahead and get into it. Clarify the stalemate relationship for my Libras, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2021. Clarify the cellmate relationship. Why is the cellmate relationship here for my Libras? Okay, we have the Five of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and we have the Knight of Coins. So some of you guys are waiting for somebody to come in and make an offer. This is the Knight of Coins, so I feel like this is the slowest moving knight on the deck. So, I mean, on the board or whatever, inside the deck. So um, some of you guys, you could be feeling like battered, bruised, beaten up, disappointed. You could have gotten into some type of fight or argument with somebody, possibly an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius like yourself. I feel like you was waiting for somebody to come in and make an offer to you, but they were moving so slow like a turtle, you know, and they wasn't offering you what you want. I felt like, uh, Libra, you could have found out 
out about this person, you could have thought that the relationship was going to grow into something beautiful. But with this clarifying the, st the stalemate relationship, I feel like some of you guys are definitely uh, dealing with a person that kind of had you link like lingering around and waiting for them. Um, and I feel like some of you guys are trying to heal from this, okay? Because the person that you were dealing with, I feel like you could have found out about some type of betrayal. Maybe they was imbalanced. Maybe this person was like very, very uh, toxic when it comes to the way they communicated or how they move in this relationship or whatever it is. I'm feeling like with my Libras, with the Five of Swords, this is confusion. This is conflicts. This is you feeling like you are you have to defend yourself. Um, this is you feeling defensive or feeling like, you know, it's a lot going on to where so mentally you feel beat, beaten up or battered, okay? Um, give me another clarifier for the stalemate relationship for my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising. Okay, we have the Queen of Cups. So some of you guys, this can be a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, okay? Hold on. Oh, it came out. All right, y'all. It, it was out. It came out, but it flipped. Okay, there we go. All right, so this is Nine of Cups, and then this came out too, the Nine of the the Nine of Cups came out with the Queen of Cups, okay? So some of you guys, this can be surrounding uh, um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, okay? Maybe um, this person is a very loving person. You might got a lot of love for this person or they love you just as much deeply, but I feel like they could not be, they could be the type of person that was, so they don't really express their emotions as much. They just kind of like, hang, you know, like keep their feelings to themselves. I'm feeling like this person been through a lot. This could be your energy if you have water in your chart, Libra. I feel like either you or your partner been through a lot emotionally when it comes to love and relationships. So this person is not really easy to give their cup to somebody. So maybe the person you're dealing with is like they, they got a lot of feelings for you, but they don't really express it like that because of past hurt or it's like they, they are emotionally mature. So it's like they don't give too much at one time. So this could be your energy as well, man, whereas though you feel like you got a lot of love to give to somebody but you feel like they're putting you in a stalemate situation and they're slow to make you an offer so you've been keeping your emotions close to your chest okay but we do see the pisces in this cup this fish so maybe something you could have found out that something was produced in this cup after you gave a love offer to somebody you could have found out that they was doing something else or getting happiness or peace somewhere else okay and we have the nine of coins so this is you guys overindulging or just having wish fulfillment maybe some of you guys your wish fulfillment is for this scorpio cancer pisces to come in we have gemini Libra, aquarius we have towards Virgo Capricorn. Maybe some of you guys are getting your wish fulfillment or you want your wish fulfillment to come in with the Nine of Cups. Um, this also could be overindulging. So make sure you guys are not over drinking or overindulging. Clarify the Nine of Cups for my Libras. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. We have the Page of Coins. So your wish fulfillment is for this Earth sign towards Virgo Capricorn. doesn't have to be that sign. Your wish is for them to come in and make you some type of offer. You're waiting on a message with the Page of Coins, some type of offer. That would be a wish fulfillment. But I feel like right now, Libra, this is a stalemate situation. This person could be very, very slow to come towards you with something. We do, once again, we have the Knight of Pentacles. So this person is very, very slow moving, okay? Clarify, I have deep feelings for you, but it's hard for me to express for my Libras. Clarify, I have deep feelings for you, but it's hard for me to express for my Libra. Okay, we have the Six of Wands. Clarify, mm, okay. Yeah, we have the Six of Wands in reverse and we have the Five of Wands. So I feel like you could have gotten into an argument or disagreement with this person. Some of you guys are definitely doing for fire sign. Um, Leo Sagittarius, okay, because we have the Six of Wands in reverse. So it's like some of you guys are not getting victory. I feel like this person, Libra, wanted to get victory with you, but they could have been through a lot of karmic shit. Okay, and I feel like they could have had competition or multiple people in their head or you could have had multiple people that was, um, well, you could have been talking to somebody that had multiple suitors, okay? And I feel like whatever it is, you could have found out about this or you could have found out this person just was not reliable or could not express their feelings for you. So it became an argument. You guys got into an argument or some type of fight or conflict because we have the five of wands, which represents conflicts, fights, arguments, upheaval, competition, um, you know, power struggle. So I feel like maybe it was a power struggle between you and this person. I also feel like you guys could have gotten into a major argument because you felt like this person wasn't and giving you the victory that you want or maybe they was getting a lot of attention that was like negative for you some of you guys committed for Taurus as well but we have the six of wands in reverse so it's like this person doesn't feel victorious or maybe you're feeling like this situation is not going to be a victorious situation for you maybe this person is not giving you attention you guys cannot be speaking right now Libra so take what resonates okay um give me another clarify for I have deep feelings for you but it's hard for me to express for my Libras clarify I have deep feelings for you okay all right, we have the Lover's card. All right, we have the Lover's card, Gemini, for some of you guys. We have the Five of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, and we have the Judgment card. So somebody, and this can be your energy, Libra. Um, but I'm seeing right now, like... Um, some of you guys are definitely dealing with a water sign. Like I said, we have Gemini, we have Earth, we have Fire. We have a little bit of everything, all signs. But I do feel like, you know, somebody... It could have been hard for them to express their true feelings, okay? 
um, because this person just was like, you know, already involved with another person or whatever. All, they could have already been tied to another lover or they could have had a choice between two lovers. I feel like this person probably needs to mature. Like they do have, excuse me, they do have passion and love for you. And I feel like both of you guys, this might be a karmic or whatever. This is definitely twin flame energy when you see the lovers or soulmate energy. I do feel like this person just loved you, whatever. It's kind of like they your yin to your yang, they the yin to your yang. But it's like with the judgment card being here, this person, you could be judging their actions or judging how this person treated you or what offers they was giving you, okay? Maybe they was breadcrumbing you and you felt like it was too much of an emotional burden to deal with. Some of you guys with the five of cups, this is disappointments and sadness, okay? Regret. Some of you guys could be regretting uh, the situation. If not, this is the person, how they feel. It's like they could be very regretful because it says I have deep feelings for you. It's just hard for me to express. So with the five of cups, okay, this person could have a lot of deep feelings for you, okay? But at the end of the day, it's, just, it's hard for them to express how they feel. It, it could be because they have a lot of blockages um you know heart blockages because you know their heart chakra could be closed due to some third-party energies or past hurts and regrets okay but with the judgment card it's like some of you guys are trying to give this person a second chance or you're making a judgment call on how on if you want to continue to give emotion to this person but with the five of cups it's like somebody is definitely uh crying over spilled milk or looking at all the cups that was lost but not realizing that it's another opportunity to have love in your life okay Clarify the lover's card for my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Clarify the lover's card. Yeah, we have the four of cups. So it could be somebody that you are in love with or you have a lot of love with. Um, You have a lot of love for Libra. And I feel like this person is not giving you the love or attention that you want, you know, that you want. Okay, we have the four of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. So maybe you're waiting for somebody to give you an offer, but they're not accepting it. Or this is you not accepting that offer. This person can be trying to come in with a second, you know, with, a, with the judgment card, trying to get a second chance from you, trying to reconcile, you know, because it's like, you know, time is ticking. And, you know, they know that everything is divine timing right now. Like things are happening divine timing. But I feel like with the judgment card, this person's wanting to come in because maybe they're wanting to, like, you know, make sure that you don't stray away from them, Libra. But I feel like with the Four of Cups, if they're coming back to make your offer, I don't feel like you're going to be happy with this offer. I feel like you're still going to be discontent. I feel like you're going to be bored with this offer. You're not going to want it. Okay, because you got a lot on your mind emotionally, okay, with the Five of Cups and the Four of Cups, okay? So this is like not even accepting an offer because you're still thinking about how they wronged you, okay? Or how this person put you through, you know, the Five of Cups energy, which is regrets, sorrow, pain. All right, clarify the spirituality card. Why is the spirituality card here for my Libras? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of September 2021. Clarify the spirituality card. Yeah, we have the Seven of Wands and the Fool, and the fool card. So once again, this is a fire sign energy. I feel like some of you guys just want to focus on your spirituality because you realize that this person could have had you in competition or you could have had a lot of obstacles, different opinions from friends and family that you had to go over. Maybe you realizing that some of the people that you was even around wasn't good for you. They were just bringing out your shadow side or your fiery side, your passionate side, but they wasn't really pushing you towards your spirituality. We have the Fool card right here, Libra. So I feel like some of you guys are going to be taking a leap of faith when it comes to your spirituality. Okay, some of you guys, you, you want to restore your faith. You want to go out there with yours. You want to claim what the universe has for you. But some of you guys just don't know what, what to expect. But I'm, I'm feeling like with the food card, some of you guys are definitely dealing for Aries. And I feel like if you are dealing for Aries, this person has you in competition. It could be a lot of blockages, fights, arguments, competition. And you feel like it's too much of a burden. You know, you feel like you, it's too much that you're, you know... That you're trying to, you know, it's too much to deal with this person. This person brings a lot of toxic energy, okay? Or a lot of passion. Or a lot of different people, okay? Ooh. Hey, these cards popped out. Okay, so we had the eight of coins. So some of you guys are just wanting to focus on work, your abundance, okay? Some of you guys will be trying to create something. Like um, if you guys are like um, entrepreneurs or designers or artists, some of you guys are working on your artwork or creating something or fashion designers or whatever. If not, this is your, you focusing on your coin, focusing on putting money into yourself or knowing your self-worth. Some of you guys could also be looking at investments, okay, right now, trying to invest into something. Some of you guys could be going to court or paying for some type of court fees or court court cases or something like that where your partner could not be coming towards you because they might have things investments that they are already tied to especially legal for some of you guys but with the justice card this is you guys trying to make things more fair and balanced and just in your life so if that that calls for you to just kind of like zone out focus on your money and focus on your job then that's what you guys are going to do we have the nine of wands with the four coins so yeah some of you guys like this nine of wands this is like the fighter energy like somebody's definitely trying to persevere do challenges i feel like if this is not true leap or maybe somebody feels like it's a challenge to be with you or a challenge to get 
things back on the same page or not the same page, but on a better page. I feel like with the nine of wands, like this is a Leo Sagittarius and we have the four cut coins. This person can still be holding on to you, Libra, or this could be you still holding on to this person because of the passion. And maybe you feel like you put up with a lot, you know what I'm saying? You invested a lot into this connection, so you don't want to just easily give it up, okay? But I do feel like with the four coins, some of you guys are needing to save your money or this could, you, could be you, Libra, holding on to some past hurts. Some past, some past pain, maybe a past person that you don't want to release yet. Why is the four coins here for my Libras? Clarify the four coins. Why is the four coins for my Libras here? Ooh. All right, we have the Hermit card. A lot of you guys are in isolation, even though you could be still holding on to this person or trying to save your money or focusing on like um, the loss that you could have had with this person or whatever. A lot of you guys, you have money in your mind, money on your heart. So the only thing you focus on right now is like money, okay? But some of you guys, you could be holding on to somebody, an earth sign in particular, or Virgo we have, or it could be a Virgo, or earth sign, or fire sign holding on to you. But I do feel like with the Hermit card, you guys can be in isolation, not speaking to these people, trying to find enlightenment. That's why we have the spirituality card here, because the Hermit is a spiritual person. This person goes into isolation so they can find the light at the end of the tunnel, so they can get clarity. You know, it's like a wise man. Some you guys are trying to learn from your mistakes so in order for you to learn from your mistakes you have to remove the distractions from you okay and we have the ace of cups so i feel like you guys got new love coming in we have the ace of cups scorpio cancer pisces so this could be even you know a new childbirth or whatever like that if not this could be once you focus on your spirituality you might find a new love that that's just as spiritual as you we this is an overflowing of abundance some of you guys, like I said, might be pregnancies, but if not, this is self-love. This is abundance. So some of you guys need to just focus on your spirituality, your self-love, and, you know, chalk it up. You know, at the end of the day, if somebody didn't deserve you, that's their loss. Okay, Libra? So, um, but if you guys need to travel to bring some type of peace and clarity into your life, then go ahead and take a trip. Take a little road trip, a day trip, or just take a trip away from people or travel away from these people that's causing you to stress. Okay, Libra? So that's what I have for my Libras. Let me know if it resonates. Leave a comment below. If you guys like my Oracle deck and want to see this more, which you will see it more, leave a comment below. Give me a big fat thumbs up. And I'll see you guys next month. Peace.